Hi friends, this is Vani from Viva Sew and Style. In today's video, I will do a pattern review of McCall 7360. If you guys have been following me, I showed this pattern very recently. I bought it uh, within the last month, I believe. And I was so impressed that I decided to make it immediately so i will show you my make and also i will model it for you in a minute so let's talk about this pattern this is a tunic pattern and i made view c but i made it with the sleeves of view a so as you can see the hem variations are there so in view c it's a rounded hem line in front and back in view b it's straight in front and uh, you know curved in the back and i think in the first view view a it's straight front and back and then there is a button placket and there are pockets i did not put pockets so uh, let me tell you about the difficulty of the pattern so i'm not sure what it says on the rating but uh, yeah i'm not seeing it readily but i would give it a rating of average it is not a very very easy or straight pattern to make uh, there are quite a few nuances to this pattern so from the very first one is this button placket so you don't need some practice especially when it comes down to you know neatly attaching it right here and then the collar which is like a band neck is also a little bit tricky then the hem especially if you are doing the curved can be a little bit of a challenge and finally the button holes so let me show you my make so this is my make and i will put it on and show the details so this I, I did a little stitching right here and let me so hopefully you are getting a good view of this top the fabric is from Walmart I got it for four dollars two yard bundle and I decided to go with the short sleeve because it's summer so it it looks like an elevated tee to be honest and it would come in the category of smart casual of course you can you know uh, dress it up or down and change the appearance accordingly so now um, I want to say that if you are thinking of making this pattern then do check out a video tutorial from Mason Lifestyle, Alexandra or Alex from Mason Lifestyle has done a really good so long and I highly highly recommend if you are a beginner or intermediate to check it out so that you know you can figure out all the technicalities in this pattern. Overall the pattern is not hard it's very few pattern pieces like front back back yoke sleeve the neck band and the front band and that's that was all there is to it um it took me a really long time to make it because i wanted to make sure that i do a neat job on the neck band and in the button placket I think once if you conquer that 
other than that it's pretty easy so now let me put it on and uh, you guys can see how it looks so friends as you can see this is how the top came out i'm quite happy with it um, but i still have some improvements to do in the next version i make i'm going to make it full sleeve next time i will probably make it in the fall and i am going to pay a lot more attention when i am attaching the placket because i did a fairly decent job but i know that i can improve on it also attaching the yoke uh, for some reason the pattern pieces were not lining up for me mainly because this is a rayon shelly and it tends to slip and slide uh, and also because i do grading so i used shoulders and neck of size 14 then bust of i think size 16 then waist and hip of a size 18 to 20 so i am like grading it and so i think when i cut the yoke i forgot which size exactly i needed so my yoke was slightly longer and so i gave it some um, pleating so that it would line up <coughs> so next time i would be more careful and make sure it lines up perfectly so yeah as is always we are always striving for perfection but other than that i mean the top came out great and one thing I was struggling a little bit was buttonholes because my machine does not do a good job of buttonholes. Partly it's user error, partly it's uh, the machine. So I watched several videos and figured out the buttonholes or at least how to get by uh, so that I don't struggle like I did this time. So I, because I plan on making a lot more garments with buttons and buttonholes and I don't want to con continuously avoid them. So let me show you a practice of what I was doing. So this is my practice trip. I was trying to practice making buttonholes. And as you can see, they're, they're not perfect. They are okay, but they are not perfect. And my struggle was, like I don't know if you can see here. So one side was coming out okay and the side next to it was coming too sparse. So then I figured out that I should go over it one more time. And that's how I will have to do it. Yeah, so I mean mine is a very basic machine, so I don't know if it's the machine or I still have more learning to do. But anyway, so yeah, so if you want to attempt this blouse, do watch Alexandra's video at Mason Lifestyle. I will put a link to her video in my description box. Also make sure you practice your buttonholes. Practice, practice, practice. And also practice the curved hem if you want to do the curved hem version. So wish you good luck with this pattern. Share your thoughts and your experiences with me. And subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Have a great day. Until next time. Bye.